Honourable Tohanari. Mr Speaker, um, just when uh, we thought it was the season for, for apologies and just when we thought it was uh, going to be a night of uh, backslapping and congratulations to each other, we had uh, the Honourable Rodney Hyde stand up and bring us back to reality. And the reality for some people is, is that they can't really get the idea of partnership. They can't really get the idea or their heads around what is good for everyone. And, and they go on about uh, the undemocratic, the unelected people that this bill uh, refers to. But then on the other hand, stand in the House as Minister of Local Government and can support the CCOs uh, in the super city that are unelected. In fact, oh, I don't mind them being unelected because they do a pretty good job. And we know that they, do, they are going to do a pretty good job. But they're in charge of billions of dollars of assets. But when it comes to Māori, and not, this is not just Māori on their own, this is Māori in a partnership. No, 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 not going to have a bar of that. We'll have the other fellas, you know, and it really, and it really um, sort of interests me that as the Minister of Local Government, he can get up and say what he says, but it's local government around the Mutu and around, in particular, the Waikato River that have got up and said they've got their heads around it. They're working with Iwi. So if they can work with Iwi, and I tell you what, they were re-elected on the weekend. They can, well, some of them were. Poor old Bob wasn't, but never mind. Um, they can get their heads around the new framework that the original bill and this bill uh, uh, puts into place, sir. So I want to say first and foremost to that dynamic uh, minister that we have, uh, the Honourable Christopher Finlayson, sir. Uh, what a good job that he has done uh, in, in not only this respect, but in the other uh, treaty bills that he has brought uh, to the House uh, and, sir, that our committee has been uh, lucky enough to, uh, to uh, be part of. Sir, You're a great chair. thank you. Thank you very much. Um, sir, I'm sure that, I'm sure that we, we all know how significant the Waikato River is, uh, not only to Waikato and other iwi, Raukawa, uh, uh, Te Arawa and Tu Whareitoa, who live along uh, 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 the river, sir. In fact, I think that the Waikato River, uh, and, I, and I'm trying to be diplomatic here um, about the, the, the Whanganui River as well, and the Waiapu, and uh, those great rivers in the north, can't sort of name any at the moment, but they are, sir, akin to the Mississippi, akin to the, uh, akin to the other rivers around the world. And I think, it's, I think it behoves us all, and I want to say, uh, sir, that, that I agree 100% with the Honourable Marion Street when she says it's not about just, just about a dirty river. It's not about just the, the degradation of the river, but it is about a, trying to establish a new framework, a new way of dealing with a very, very old problem. And, sir, the one that we have in front of us is about partnership, is about getting local government... Uh, local communities, local iwi and government uh, working together. I want to read, sir, just a uh, couple of paragraphs out of the Māori Affairs Select Committee's report uh, on the bill uh, in regards to the Waikato River Authority membership. And, sir, we heard submissions that the membership of the Waikato River Authority should be increased from 10 to 12 to give Ngāti Koroki Kahukura representation. Sir, it was proposed that an additional Crown member could be nominated by Federated Farmers of New Zealand. Sir, as we did when considering the Waikato Tainui Raupatu Claims Waikato River Settlement Act, we gave serious thought to Ngāti Koroki Kahukura's need for recognition as a river iwi and to be heard in respect of their tupuna awa. So we believe that a way sh should be found for them to achieve their aspirations. 
Sir, we remain convinced that the most, to, the, uh, to be most effective, the maximum size of the Waikato River Authority should remain at 10. We note that the membership can be re-examined during the review process for the authority at a later date. So in the meantime, we understand that the iwi is currently negotiating with the Crown for the settlement of its non to historical treaty claims, and we encourage both parties to use this process to address the iwi's concern. Sir, we recommend no amendment. And I want to say, sir, that, that that in itself was one of the hardest things that we had to, uh, to, to think about and to, to deliberate on, sir, was the, the make-up uh, of the Waikato River Authority, whether we had uh, too many from one group and not enough from another group. It was always going to be uh, a very, very hard decision. But in the end, sir, I think that what we did uh, and what we came up with was, in fact, uh, the most... Uh, uh, the, 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 the scenario that would achieve uh, what we as a government and what local iwi uh, wanted to achieve, sir. Uh, I, I can't wait to... Uh, we, hear the, uh, we have the third reading and we get on in doing uh, what this bill uh, sets up to do, sir. Oh, David ben